Hey, thanks for tuning in. I wanted to do something fun today with the air fryer. So this kind of uh, adds to my series of air fryer recipes. It's something easy and something delicious and it's Filipino style ribs. Yay! All right, so this is a really easy recipe. So get your pen and paper ready. So it's one half rack of ribs. That's about one pound. So I have it right here in front of me. One half rack of ribs. One teaspoon of salt. So this is my house salt right here. One half teaspoon of pepper. And here's my pepper grinder here. One tablespoon brown sugar. So you could do any brown sugar, but I do like to use only C&H brand. It could be dark brown or golden brown, light brown. Doesn't matter, it tastes the same, but it is the brand, C&H. All right. And of course, to make it Filipino style, it's gonna be the Jufron banana sauce. Yummy. So I'm gonna just have my son do the dry rub here. All right, Kai, you gonna help me out? Yeah. All right, come on over. One teaspoon of salt. So go ahead and um, take those off for now, because we need to do this. One teaspoon of salt. Say hi to the camera first. Hi. <laughs> One half teaspoon of pepper. Okay. You can estimate there. Okay. Just a little bit more. One half to make it a full tea. One half teaspoon. And then the next one is one tablespoon of brown sugar. All right. There you go. Go ahead and put your gloves back on. So Kai loves doing the air fryer series with me. So anytime that I think that we could do something in the air fryer, he likes to do it and he likes to run the machine. Don't you, Kai? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and mix it around. And then um, this is a dry rub now. So go ahead and rub it in after you're done mixing into the in there. How's it going? Good. Yeah, go ahead and rub it in. That's a good mix. Smile to the camera. <laughs> Is this one of your favorite recipes now? Yeah. All right, and turn it around and put it on the other side. So fun, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be bringing the air fryer into view. And this is my handy dandy Ninja air fryer. It is a four quart. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have Kai go ahead and put it into the basket here. Okay, go ahead and uh, put it into the basket. You can put um, it that side, that side up. Ooh, are you okay? Yeah. It's kind of hot still. So go ahead and put it into the basket. And it is, it fits okay. It could, it's just a little bit tight in there. But um, it's going to be cooking at 30 minutes. And um, in between the 30 minutes, at 15 minutes, turn it to the other side. All right. So that's how it fits, one pound of ribs. Okay, Kai. So this shouldn't be hot, so turn on the power. And do it for 30 minutes. And then 350. Oops, press start. That's it. Turn it on. 30 minutes. 350 and just start. There you go. So here you go. For 30 minutes at 350 and in between just turn it, um, pause it and turn the ribs over. All right, so luckily, this, put that to the side. Luckily, they sell the ribs in whole, a whole rack. So what I was able to do is 
go ahead and cook half of the rack beforehand. All right, so this is the cooked Filipino style ribs with that very, very simple recipe. Doesn't that look delicious? So this is what makes it Filipino. Yes, the dry rub is very um, sweet and um, salty at the same time, but this is the what makes it Filipino is putting brushing Jeffron on top. This is Jeffron is a banana ketchup. And so there's a long story behind how this happened to get together in the Philippines mixing banana and ketchup, but it is a delicious tangy sauce that um, we love to use for like our meats and our eggs and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush it on. And this is what it looks like. It looks like ketchup, but maybe a little bit lighter but it's so tangy and delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush it on. Okay, so the nice thing about it, if you're not real particular about having the Jeffron, you could do it without. So I'm gonna do this rib with Jeffron and then the other one that's in the air fryer right now is gonna be without. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on. Brush it on. Okay, and then I'm gonna brush them in the back. All right. So there you go. Filipino style ribs. Doesn't it look delicious? And if you want to, if you want to um, kind of marinate it more and burn it a little bit more on top, you could put it back in the air fryer for another like three minutes and just kind of get the top caramelized with the Jeffron. But um, it's looking pretty good to me and that's just an option. You can't go wrong with that. We burn all our sausages anyways, like longanisa and stuff like that. So this is no different. <laughs> All right, so that is the final product. Let's kind of just give you a look at what the ribs might be doing here at four minutes. Oh, okay, so it's already coming along at four minutes. This is a super duper turbo air fryer and I really, really appreciate it. So um, let's just go ahead and put it back on. So again, for every one half rack of ribs, it's one teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of pepper, and one tablespoon of brown sugar. So of course, if you have a whole rack, you just double that up. And if you have several racks for families, of course, you just do the math and you'll get that delicious flavor. Um, and of course, one bottle of Jufran will go a long, long way. All right. Well, thank you for listening. I hope you try the recipe and let me know how it goes, okay? All right. Take care.